Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronix Sweat and Atre. in this tutorial I'll show you the right way of how you can use the mixer brush tool when you're doing skin retouching in Photoshop. And this is going to be focusing more on skin retouching using a mixer brush tool and also how you can easily retain that nice and beautiful natural and highly realistic skin texture every single time you're trying to retouch using the mixer brush tool. So without further ado, let's get started. And if at all this is what you have always wanted. I request that you hit the like button on this video because it's going to help you to push and recommend this video to many people out there. So just smash the like button on this video. So right now this is the image that we have and you have to understand we're going to be learning about frequency separation. So frequency separation is a skin retouching technique that is going to divide the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. In the high frequency layer we have our textures and in the low frequency layer we have our colors. So we're just going to come and create two layers from the background layer. Make sure it is locked and simply press ctrl j twice or command j twice then you can simply name this to low frequency and you're going to name this to high frequency so you double click and rename so after doing this i'm just going to come and simply select this so if i told you have the action you can simply play the action and you apply the right amount of gash and life at all you use that technique but for purposes of understanding how to retain it from a beginner level, you're just going to follow or do this and understand what each layer in frequency separation is going to do or work on the image. So just going to come to the low frequency and select it and come to the high frequency layer and hide it. So come to the low frequency layer and simply come to filter, then come to blend, you're going to come to gush and blur. So if at all you're using an action for retouching, it usually stops at a point when you have to put in the amount of gush and blur so this is what you have to take into consideration for any image you're trying to work on so at this point you have to look for an area that has prominent skin textures by using the zoom in and zoom out buttons right here so this area has more skin texture than the rest of the image so this is going to determine the amount of textures you're going to be remaining with in your final image so after i have highlighted or selected that area just come to the radius and simply start taking up the radius. So you left click, hold down and drag this slider up a point when you just start in close out on the skin textures are within the image. So at around 7, that is when I'm just starting to close out on the skin textures. So you have to stop at the point when the details or the textures are just starting to disappear from the image. So at around 7, that is when I'm just starting to close out on the skin textures in this image. So just come and click OK. Like I said, your images may be different from mine because the amount of textures may be different from one image to another, meaning you don't have to come the radius I've used. So your radius may be different. So you have to move the slider up to the point when you just start to close out on the skin textures within the image. So just going to come to the high frequency and now. In this layer, we're just going to activate it. In this layer, we only want to remain with the texture. So just come to image and you're going to come to apply image right here. So when you come to apply image, remember I have a 16-bit image. For a 16-bit image, if I told you I have 16 right here, make sure you select the low frequency layer. The channel has to be RGB and the blend mode has to be add. The scale is to offset 0 or past at 100%. Preserve transparency and mask cannot check. Make sure you turn on the invert option and you see the textures on the gray kind of layer. Then if at all you're working on an 8-bit image, this is what you have to do. Make sure you select the low frequency layer. The channel is RGB and make sure the invert option is not turned on. The blend mode has to be subtract. The scale is turned offset 128 or past 100%. Preserve transparency and mask are not checked. And simply click on OK. You see the textures on the gray kind of layer like this and it's lacking colors. But I have a 16-bit image. For my case, I'm just going to come. Low frequency layer. Channel is RGB. Blend mode add. Invert. The scale is to offset. So I'll just come and click on OK. So just come and change the blend mode from normal to linear light. And you get back the image the way it was meant to be rather. So I'll put this two in a group. So if I told you have the action, it is going to play and create these layers automatically and if at all you're interested in purchasing and supporting my channel for the actions you can buy my actions by checking the links in the description of this video so we're just going to come down here and open up the group so after opening up the group you're just going to come and we start using and learning how to use the 
mixer brush tool so let's first of all understand the settings for the mixer brush tool so in order to set up the mixer brush tool you're just going to come under the brushes right click and simply select the mixer brush tool then if at all you're having an older version of photoshop you may find your mixer brush tool below here so how, what you have to understand the settings for the brush are going to be up here and you're just going to come and make sure we set it right so make sure you click down then make sure the hardness is zero percent and make sure clean brush is also selected right here and make sure you have two options right here and make sure the second one has been checked or highlighted make sure clean the brush after each stroke is selected the what you're going to be using is nine percent the load of 75 percent the mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent the reason for having this kind of weight is because we want to save time but we as well want to retain textures within the image so make sure the weight is nine or below nine so don't exceed nine if at all you are to keep these settings the way i'm using them in this tutorial so the load is 75 mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent then also as you're working on the image this is what you have to take into consideration so for example right now we are done uh selecting our brush so if at all your mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon it means that you have activated the caps lock key so simply press the caps lock key on the keyboard and that is going to make the brush circular and if at all you want to increase or decrease on the size of the mixer brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard to decrease or increase on the size of your brush tool so with that taken into consideration we want to see how to apply or use the mixer brush tool and the direction in which we have to apply it on the image as you're trying to retouch it so for purposes of illustration i'm just going to come to this and i'm just going to create an empty layer I'm just going to apply it or create the empty layer on top of my group by simply creating it right there so in order to see this well we want to apply the mr brush tool and we retain the colors and the original shape of the model's face so how to apply this i'm just first of all just come to my normal brush tool and i show you how you have to move the mr brush tool as you're trying to retouch so for example if it comes to the forehead i'm just going to choose another random color right here so if if it comes to uh, the forehead if it comes to the forehead, you can see that the forehead is moving in this kind of uh, direction. I hope you can see this. This kind of direction. And when it comes to this side, this area is moving in this other kind of direction. I hope you are seeing how I'm moving or drawing these arrows. And when it comes to the cheekbone, it is moving in this direction again. So when it comes to the nose area, it is also moving in an up-down kind of direction right here. So the chin is moving in this kind of direction. I hope you're seeing these arrows quite well. So as you're using the mixer brush tool, you have to maintain your strokes of a brush and move them the way an area is shaped. So you shouldn't move the mixer brush tool. Let me just choose another color right here. You, ha you shouldn't move the mixer brush tool for example if i told you working on the forehead you shouldn't move it in this kind of direction no this is not the right movement because as you're doing this it is going to mean that color is going to spill quickly and you're going to lose out on the original shape of the model's face so just imagine if at all i'm moving my mixer brush tool in this kind of direction it means that the original shape is not going to be maintained so you always have to move the mr brush tool in the right kind of direction if at all you want to maintain the right colors and the original shape of the area you're trying to work on so you shouldn't move it in the pink direction move it in the green direction so with that taken into consideration we're just going to come and we start applying our mixer brush tool so like i said you have to work on the low frequency so make sure you select the low frequency layer so if at all you prefer to work with the mixer brush tool so if at all you prefer to work with the texture layer turned on simply come and make sure you don't turn on this uh, this option that says sample all 
players. So if at all you turn it on, it means that the missile brush tool is going to carry information from the high frequency and it's going to paint them back in the layer that contains the colors. So for example, if at all I'm to paint right here, you can see the brush is painting back the textures in the low frequency layer, which we don't want to happen. So make sure if at all you're working with the uh, low frequency layer or both layers turned on or visible, Make sure the sample all layers option is not turned on. And how to apply the missile brush to make sure it is re relatively smaller than the area you're trying to work on. And how to apply it, like I said, move the strokes of your brush in the direction of how an area is shaped. And that in that way it is going to keep or maintain the original facial structures of uh, the model's face. You can see I'm moving my strokes and how or where the area is transitioning from one color to another, I'll just come and mix that area. So I paint just using a stroke to create a nice and smooth blend between those colors. So let me show you a quick before and after. You can see that we have retained the original shape of the model's uh, face and we have retained how the light was falling onto the model's face. So this is how you have to apply it. So if at all you want to work with the high frequency layer turned off so remember this is going to be more of a guide layer so if at all you want to leave the high frequency layer turned on or if at all you want to leave it turned on make sure sample oilers is not checked on this area then if at all you want to work with it turned off just come and simply turn it off and make sure you can still work with it in this kind of way so just turn it off and make sure you just come and paint so in this way you're going to be looking at the colors in real time as you're trying to work on them or as you're trying to even the transitions within the skin color or skin texture so you can see this area is moving in this direction so i'll move my stroke so remember for our reference you see these arrows i hope you can see these arrows so i'll just come and keep on working in this kind of you see the strokes i'm moving them in this kind of direction the green direction and i'm not moving them in another way so just moving them in this kind of direction and following the way light was falling on uh, the model's face you can insert this highlight i'll just come and work on this area just like this and that is going to maintain the original shape of the model's face just like that so i just turn off the reference for a moment and i show you a quick before and after this is the before after before after you can see that we have still retained the original facial structures and how light was falling on the model's face hence keeping or retaining the original shape of the model's face so the other thing i forgot to mention how to apply the missile brush tool you hold down so you left click and hold down and simply keep holding down and drag your cursor or this kind of icon over the area you want to work on so you have to keep on holding down and releasing if at all you're working on a different area that contains a different color so just hold down mix this area alone release and come and work on this dark area hold down left click and hold down and work on this area release and keep on working on these other areas so this is how you have to apply the missile by tool and also retain original skin texture and the original shape of the model's face so this is a quick before and after before after so this is how to use and apply the missile brush tool in the right way possible and if i told you i've loved this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if i told you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating